here's my question. Didn't you just go to therapy? What I'm hearing you say here is, I'm so painfully aware of my own inadequacies. I feel so bad about myself that I find it necessary to diminish the incredible capabilities of women by making, trying to make the argument of an equivalency where none exists. Because everyone knows that men make a minimal, pleasurable contribution. Women don't make a contribution. <laughs> no, women engage in a nine month parasitic relationship ending in a body ripping, potentially life ending labor. That's right, they call it labor. No one's ever called a man's orgasm labor. Couldn't you just go to therapy rather than trying to make your orgasm seem more important than it is? Get over yourself. Yikes. It's no wonder nobody wants to date a feminist nowadays. You know what is a labor? Having to care for you while you carry that child and go to work while you can't possibly work when you're way too big and it's getting hard to waddle around. But anyways, you're much too short-sighted and angry for me to really go any further into this. Gentlemen, let's get into the video and move on from this angry feminist. Listen, ladies, if there's one thing that I learned this past year, it is that if Drew can publicly fucking humiliate a man, just drag his ass across the coals because he doesn't respect women, then I promise you no amount of niceness that you show is going to make your man respect you if he doesn't already. There is no number of loads of laundry you can do, no amount of picking up after him, running errands for him, taking care of his pets, or God forbid, his children, whether they're yours or not, that's going to make him respect you if he doesn't already respect to you. If a public fucking execution can't make a man respect his own mother, what chance do you have? So you are better off going and finding yourself a partner who respects you from the beginning instead of one who you have to try to earn it by showing him what a good girl you are. Listen, ladies. Yeah, here we go again. Man, the only thing sweet about this video was that donut that she's mowing down on. <laughs> so gross. Anyways, yeah, uh, when she says Drew, she's referring to Drew Offalo, the freaking overweight hyena that's a uh, pariah for young women on TikTok. Ugh, how horrible. But either way, gentlemen, if you don't have respect a woman, don't waste your time or their time. Don't enter a relationship with them. They'll become like this one. Anyways, let's move on to the next one. So a lot of you guys are scared to approach women because you think they don't want to be approached. But they only don't want to be approached by the guys they're not into. And people wonder why we have a problem with consent in this world. A woman tells you, listen, I would really not like to be approached on the street. And you translated that very clear no into yes, I would like to be approached on the street as long as I find you attractive. And as if it wasn't bad enough that you came to that conclusion in your own head, you then went and spread that dangerous misinformation to any man that would listen. And you've also chosen to tell men that if she does say no, it's because she finds them ugly. And since the men that are taking advice from this guy can't handle rejection anyways, you've given them a reason to feel validated enough in their anger to not respect the word no when they hear it anyways. You're not supposed to be translating our no's into yeses and doing mental gymnastics until you get there. You're supposed to listen to our boundaries and respect them, not push them until they change. And your ability to center yourself is completely unmatched because you've successfully managed to turn rejection into a way to insult you instead of a means of protecting ourselves. And I don't know if you've noticed, but you wouldn't feel so insulted by the word no if you didn't feel so entitled to the word yes. You're telling people to ignore the words of women and instead trust in the desires of men. And I hate to break it to you, but your desires take no priority over our boundaries. So a lot of you guys- That's right, you know, but he's not telling you or these people that he's speaking to daily to um, go over women's boundaries. Most men, when they hear the word no, they stop and they accept the rejection as hard as it is and move on and try again. 
man, if men did not approach women nowadays, which I mean, it hardly does happen because of online dating, um, there'd be no courtship, there'd be no dating whatsoever. And uh, it's really no surprise when women like this uh, <laughs> say stuff like that. Yikes, man. She missed the point. Let's get to the final video. Begging me to stop playing. Hello? Did you hear what he just said? He's not going to beg you to act right because he's got options, which probably also means he's not going to act right even if you beg him. And what you're not going to do is beg some man to act right. He would act right for you if he wanted to. He might have options, but so do you. What he won't do, the next man will. And if he ain't going to act right, he's not the man for you. Why would I beg you? Yeah, tell them, sister. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. If these women took the anger that they feel towards men and healed from it, trying to create the equality that feminism actually aims for instead of tearing down men, maybe we'd all be in a better spot today. In the modern age, feminism means strong women and meek, weak men, and we will not stand. Until next time.